Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. Libra, this is your monthly reading for December. So this is for the first half of December. So this is for December the 1st to like the 16th, somewhere around there. Um, so Libra, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not, might not resonate. Excuse me. As well, Libra, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So this reading can manifest for you in December. It can manifest later on down the line in time after December. Or this present reading might be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, Libra, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So I did get a message for you, Libra. And the messages started coming out when I was picking your advice card. So... Libra, the message that I got was, you're being tested, Libra, by spirit in December or whenever this energy manifests. You're being tested. Libra, either you have too much pride or you don't have enough pride. So, depending on what resonates with you, Libra, in December or whenever this energy manifests for you, <clears throat> if it resonates with you. You're going to have either have to accept some type of advice or help that you didn't want because of your pride, but you you're going it's a wise choice to accept this advice that others are giving you or this help or Libra. Spirit testing you to see if you're learning a lesson, if you have learned to like stand on your own two feet or spirit sent, sent you through some karmic cycles to build up your self-esteem. If you know Libra spirit sent you through some karmic cycles to build up your self-esteem and possibly even to have to build your confidence in him and spirit. In December, or whenever this energy manifests, Libra, there's going to be a lot of people trying to give you advice in Libra. You don't need their advice. You don't need their advice because, Libra, you know what spirit has done for you. So for some of y'all, you guys are going to have to maybe humble yourselves and take this advice because you need it. And for other you guys, you know you don't need this advice because you know what spirit has done for you. Um, Libra, maybe in the past when you didn't have good self-esteem, you allowed, you accepted other people's opinions and advice that you should not have. And they could have taken advantage of you because of that. So, um, again, for some of you guys, you guys are going to have, you guys should make the, the decision to accept this advice because you need it. And for other you guys, you guys are going to have to reject this advice because you don't need it. Um, yeah, so that's what the, that's the message that I pulled from um, when I was uh, getting your advice card. So your first card is your message from the stars. I got you a message from the stars for December. I put your overall energy from the Kipper deck. And Libra, the message, the, your overall energy was mature man. And then I put you guys an advice card. And what came out for you, Libra, Libra, was pride. So, your message from the stars is enjoy where you are. For soon, you will be somewhere else. So, Libra, enjoy where you are. For soon, you will be somewhere else. All right. So, your overall energy was number five, this mature man. So, Libra, I think in December or whenever this energy manifests, something is changing. Something is done. Something is over. Um, this mature man could be a person or a situation. So this mature man, Libra, could be telling me you're done with something. You, you, you're closing out a karmic cycle. Um, and it could be about your self-esteem. Libra, either you had too much pride or you didn't have enough pride. Um, so this could be telling me you wrapping up a karmic cycle, Libra. Something is changing. So it could be something is changing because you're learning how to take other people's advice and help. Or Libra, the change is you know when to reject somebody's advice and help. Yeah, something like that. 
So mature man, number five, something is definitely changing for you, Libra. And I think it's a karmic cycle, Libra. So number five, mature man. I'm not going to read the whole passage because it's kind of long. So I'm going to just read certain sentences or phases, not phases, phrases that are underlined. It say, this older man, or Libra, this could be somebody else. If it's a person, Libra, it could be you. Or it could be another older man or the mature man could be a situation that's almost wrapped up. It's almost done. So he's this older man. He's on your side generally representing all kinds of bosses, guys, mentors, authorities, and executives, as well as important male relatives such as grandfathers, uncles, fathers, stepfathers, father-in-laws, godfathers. <clears throat> this older man could also be a challenging figure. There is a wise person who might become important for you. You will benefit from his wisdom. Um, this is an older man, relative or boss. He's wise and helpful. He brings good news on the condition that there are no bad cards touching his. Okay. So this man could bring good news dependent on the cards that's touching this man, this older man. All right. So I think this older man is good news, whether it's a person or a situation. I think this man is good news because what's touching the good man, what's touching the older man is an advice card and your message from the star. So I think this older man, whether it's a person or a situation, I think it's good news for you, Libra. So your advice card was pride. And, um... And I just heard there's nothing wrong with a little bit of advice. That's why I just heard that. There's nothing wrong with advice. Um, pride. So yeah, your advice, Libra, is to love yourself and see yourself in everyone. So pride. Love yourself and see yourself in everyone. All right, so... Oh, and then your tea leaf cards. I put two tea leaf cards for you, Libra. So these are people, places, or situations that could be happening for you in December. And the first one out was frying pan, trouble, accusations. So Libra, you or someone else is experiencing some type of trouble or accusations. Then we have firecracker, excitement. There's some type of excitement going on. Sometimes in this deck, to me, this card is like a... Um, uh, somebody who might lose their temper. This could even, even, even be a shooting, this excitement, this firecracker. Um, and then we have Pell, time to get out of a situation. <clears throat> so Libra, you or somebody else in December, it's time to get out of a situation. All right. So let me jump into the reading. What's going on with Libra in December, at least the first half of December? What do Libra need to know? What's going on? What can Libra expect? All right, we have the moon. We have the moon. So Libra, you could be dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart. So the moon could signify intuition. The moon could be telling me to tell you, Libra, that everything is not always as it appears. Um, the moon could also represent, Libra, you have secret enemies around. And keep in mind that these, that these enemies doesn't have to be other people. This enemy could be within yourself, Libra. So, <clears throat> for example... Concerning your messages, Libra, this enemy could be within you, Libra, and this enemy could be having too much pride or this enemy could be you not having enough pride, but there's enemies lurking. So these enemies lurking could be other people or within yourself. So the moon could also be like paranoia, disappointment, things like that, but we're going to see. Clarify the moon. Okay, so the nine of wands. So Libra, I'm picking up in December. It's something that you kind of like don't want to deal with. Because these cards is just keep dropping out my hand. Won't give me a chance to talk. Nothing. They just dropping. So Libra, it might be a situation you or somebody else don't want to deal with it. Or don't want to hear somebody out or something. So nine of wands. Libra, you could have fire in your chart. Or you're dealing with a fire sign. A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Libra, you or somebody else is a wounded warrior. Clarify the nine of wands. Trials and tribulations as well, the nine of wands. 
Okay, then we had a five of pentacles. So Libra, you could be dealing with an earth sign or you have earth in your chart. A Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo. See, look at this. Did I say the five of wands? I meant the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. So, um, someone is going to view this five of pentacles as actually a five of wands. So, some type of, um, the five of wands could be someone who have gotten robbed. Someone who have could have gotten mugged. Lose their job. This could be unemployment. This could be somebody keeping secrets from you. Not being, not being invited. Places being shunned. Things like that. The five of pentacles left out in the cold. This could be homelessness. Um, so again, Libra, you could have earth in your chart or you're dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn towards a Virgo. <clears throat> the moon, is this Libra? The moon, is this Libra? The moon, is this Libra? Yes, yeah. So Libra, you the moon energy. So Libra, you might not have it together. You might not have it all together as you present yourself to the world. Or you could be going through some type of um, disappointment in um, December. Or Libra, you could be keeping secrets. Or somebody is keeping secrets from you, from you Libra. And you could be in the dark about something. So you either keeping secrets or somebody else is keeping secrets from you. Um, nine of Wands, is this Libra? Nine of Wands, is this Libra? Hmm. Okay. Five of Pentacles, is this Libra? No. Nope. Nope. So Libra, um, let me see. The Five of Pentacles, is this a person? Because the Five of Pentacles could be a warning card. The Five of Pentacles, is this a person? Yeah, okay. So, Libra, it could be an earth sign. Don't have to be that. Could be dealing with some type of... Some type of uh, hardship. The Five of Pentacles. Um, this could be somebody feeling neglected by you, Libra, in love. Um, this could be somebody who's going through unemployment, homelessness. Things like that. Somebody feels somebody is or they feel left outside in the cold regarding some type of time, money, energy, and resources. So it's like Libra, you and somebody else feel some type of way. But I'm trying to figure out what this nine of wands is. Um Libra, I think this Nine of Wands could be an enemy, a karmic or something. It's like Libra. It, for example, I'm going to give an example in love. Libra, this is like this Nine of Wands energy is like a karmic. And it's like this karmic could be keeping your divine masculine from you. I'm giving this for an example. This karmic won't give up. But this karmic in December is getting up upper hand. This karmic is successfully keep, keeping your divine masculine away from you. Because it's like this nine of wands energy wants to make sure somebody else is five pentacles. So, for example, Libra, say like your, your, say like your divine masculine married the karmic. And your divine masculine decided to divorce this karmic to reunite with you. Libra, this is like your divine masculine karmic is going to make sure by the time she finished with him in that divorce court... He won't have nothing to come back to you with or for. Like something like that is going on. Because the way I set the cards up, it's like Libra, you got your head down in this moon energy. Your head is down. You sad. And then it's like the person that's five pentacles got their head down. It's like Libra, you and somebody else got their head down. Because somebody else is nine ones. Somebody either want to split somebody up, keep somebody apart. Like, that's what that Nine of Wands energy doing. So, Libra, you could have um, cancer in your chart somewhere. And it's like this other person, it could either be a earth sign or have earth in their chart. And it could be a fire sign that's coming in between you, Libra, and this maybe whoever this person is. I just gave a, a um, 
a twin flame out as, as an example. <clears throat> but this does this situation doesn't have to be in love. So Libra, for example, say like you're trying to get your job back. You the moon. You trying to get your job back. You've been reaching out to your job. They're not responding to you. You don't know why your job not responding to you. You want your job back. But it's like Libra, unbeknownst to you, your job could be like getting sued. Like whoever that nine of wands in G's, like your job could be getting sued. So it's like they're not replying to you because they in the process of something. Somebody could be getting sued. And this person could be the one suing them. Like somebody is like kind of like <clears throat> delaying something for you, Libra. It's like you don't know why someone is not communicating with you or why something is not manifesting. It's like, Libra, you don't know. Yeah, something like that going on. And then we got guilty conscience at the bottom of this deck. Accuses you of cheating and hiding secrets due to their own guilty conscience. So Libra, this could be a lover. <clears throat> that nine of wands energy could be a karmic to you. So for example, Libra, say like you're dating a karmic. And it's like your karmic don't want you to date nobody else. But it's like your karmic wants you to sit at home, be confused and in the dark while they go off and like start war with their ex or something. Something like that going on. So it's like Libra, you at home, you like, I don't know why John ain't called me in a couple of days or... I ain't even do nothing to John. John just stormed out the, he just stormed out the door. John got a phone call and he just left. And John mad at me. But it's like, Libra, John doing something to somebody else. John could be nine wands. John is this. And something like that going on. <clears throat> and it's like, Libra, this nine of wands energy could have a guilty conscience. Because the nine of wands energy could be like going through hell and back to keep secrets from you. So again, Libra, this nine of wands energy could be a lover. Don't have to be, but this could be a situation where this person and five pentacles Libra wants to confront you and the person and nine wands won't let them. And it's like Libra, you don't know what the hell is going on. So this could be, I'm giving a third party situation in love again. So for example, Libra say like you're a female, you're a divine feminine. And this Nine of Wands could be either a karmic lover or your divine masculine. And it's like, if this Nine of Wands is your divine masculine, this Five of Pentacles could be his karmic. And it's like, this karmic Libra want to tell you that your divine masculine been cheating on you, but he won't love her. Or uh, something like that. Somebody fighting hard, Libra, to keep secrets from you. Or, that, or this person is coming in between you or something you want or need. And then we got grudge holder. We got grudge holder and that cup red. Somebody pissed off Libra. And I think you don't know. Or maybe you do know Libra. Somebody holding a mean grudge against somebody. Somebody holding a grudge. <laughs> and it's a mean one too. I heard it's a mean one. That nine of one. <clears throat> What's Libra issue in December in that moon energy? Why is Libra in the moon? Why is Libra moon energy? Okay. So we have hot and cold. All good, then all bad. In and out, yes, then no. Okay, so Libra, this is you. This is your issue. So Libra, you're hot and cold. All good, then all bad. In and out, yes, then no. Okay, so Libra, you could be being hot and <clears throat> hot and cold towards someone. Um, Libra, this moon energy could also be your menstrual cycle. So you could be like getting your menstrual cycle, Libra, and you acting up. You hot and cold, took hot and cold towards a lover or somebody? Yeah, that could be your menstrual. Then we have disconnected. So Libra, these are your issues. Hard time bonding mentally and emotionally detached. Okay, so you and your that justice energy, your major arcana. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. So Libra, you're disconnected from something or someone. You're being hot and cold and you're disconnected. And it could be because Libra, either you're pregnant, something to do with hormones, with that moon energy. I pick up hormones as well with that moon. So this could be a pregnancy, Libra. You could be pregnant and don't know it. Or Libra, your menstrual, something going on with your menstrual, your period, whatever could be coming on. And you're, you're acting hot and cold and disconnected. Yeah. And what else is your issue? Too dependent. Codependent issues, clingy, relies on you too much or vice versa. All right. So Libra, your issue is either someone is too dependent on you or you're too dependent on someone else. Okay. All right, this Nine of Wands energy. Do this person got an issue with Libra in December? The Nine of Wands. Mm mm. So, oh Libra, somebody could be defending you, or this person could be taking something the wrong way. Let me see. Okay, so Libra. Okay, for example, say like, okay, I'm okay. Uh, what I also see is Libra. Say like in the past. Say like you got kids by a karmic Libra. And it's like your divine masculine who could be in nine wands. He's very aware of you and your karmic past issues. So Libra, it's like your divine masculine know your karmic just. You don't like your karmic. You and your karmic don't get along. So it's like Libra <clears throat> in December. When you start acting hot and cold and disconnected from your divine masculine, who could be a nine wands, this, your divine masculine is going to assume that it was your karmic ex. It's him. And he might go confront him. And it's like the five of pentacles is not even an issue. Like something like that could be going on too. Libra, you could just be going through hormonal changes. And it's like somebody might assume that it's this five of pentacles energy that, that's bothering you. And it's not. Because the nine of wands don't got no issue with you, Libra. So maybe the nine of wands is either rightfully or wrongfully defending you. Or something like that. <clears throat> so let's see. The nine of wands energy. Do the nine of wands have an issue with the five of pentacles energy? Mm -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see something. The Nine of Wands. Is this a person? Oh, no. Five of Pentacles. Is this a person? Okay, let me see. Five of Pentacles. Is this a person? I see. think I see what's going on. Five of Pentacles. Is this a person? Five of Pentacles is just a person. Yeah, okay. All right. So, Libra, this Nine of Wands energy is not a person. So, this is could be like angelic protection. <clears throat> this is some type of protection, Libra. While you're going through some type of... You in the moon energy, Libra. So, either you keeping secrets or somebody keeping secrets from you. You the moon. And Libra, somebody protecting you. So, this could be angelic... Protection, divine intervention. Libra, I think either this nine of wands could be your angel, your ancestors, or like uh, angels or ancestors. This nine of wands. Libra, it's somebody that's five pentacles that could be trying to get in touch with you. And this, and this nine of wands won't let them. This nine of wands won't let them. So what I kind of see going on, Libra, is somebody could feel entitled to you, like your gifts, your talents, your help, your assistance. This five of pentacles person probably feel entitled to you. But see, something is over. And this nine of wands is your, your angels and or ancestors. And this is like Libra, for example, say like... <clears throat> For example, Libra, say like you have an adult child. And it's like, Libra, you going through your own problems. And your adult child come to you asking you for some type of maybe financial assistance. Or this child wants to be around you and just complain about their woes. And Libra, you might tell this five of pentacles energy. 
Don't come over here talking to me. You better go take that up with Jesus. Like, yeah, because it's like the nine, the nine of wands is divine intervention. Because this person don't have an issue with you, Libra, and they don't have an issue with this nine, this five of pentacles. So it's like, Libra, I'm picking up somebody is coming in your energy wanting to like project. And this energy won't let them, but this energy is here to help this person. Because it's like, Libra, I heard you're nobody's punching bag. Like, this energy is not going to allow this person come and dump their trash onto you, Libra, because you're going through your own drama. So this Nine of Wands is like a neutral party. So it's like someone is being blocked from getting to you, Libra, because you already the moon. You already going through your own stuff. Yeah. So you and this person is going through something, Libra. But the Nine of Wands is like um, angels or ancestors, some type of protection. Yeah. And it's a neutral party. But Libra, you done. Like, you're being, protect you're being protected. <clears throat> so whatever this Five of Pentacles energy is, whatever their issues are, Libra, they're being made known in December. This person is going to get a clear understanding that their issues is not your issues because you have your own issues, Libra. That's what this is. So this five of pentacles could be like an adult child. This could be like a family member, a co-worker, a lover. Mm -mm. Libra in December, spirit is not going to allow this five of pentacles energy near you. Because you going through something, Libra, and that moon energy, you got your own issues. And let me see. This five of pentacles, this person, and Libra, this person could be a um someone you're married to. And it's like, Libra, even though you're married to this person, it's still, uh, even though, even when you're married, there still should be some type of independence. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Libra, this can definitely be someone you're married to. Um, <clears throat> or it's a Leo. <clears throat> or somebody who wants to marry you. Or, Le or um, Libra, this person makes you happy, but even though they make you happy, th the bad that this person has done to you, Libra, outweighs the good. And spirit is causing a separation. Yeah. This person not going to be able to, to, to reach you or get you, Libra. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Libra, the moon, this five of pentacles can also be a, um, a family member. And, um, this nine of wands energy Libra could be a passed on loved one. So it's like all y'all family. So it's like Libra, you the moon and your passed on loved one is aware that this other family member be like projecting their issues on you. And it's like in December, this passed on loved one is not going to allow them to do it. Like this passed on loved one is being fair. And this passed on loved one could have been someone you was married to, Libra. Or um, it's a Leo. This passed on loved one could be a Leo. Yeah. <clears throat> so the person that's in five pentacles, what's their, what is their issue in December? Yeah. See? Gaslighting. And, and um, Libra. This person, it's like Libra, you have more, a little bit, Libra, in December, you have more, like, burdens than this person. That's what this is. You have more problems to deal with than this person. Because Libra, oh, okay. So this person is, like, in this situation because, like, they did it to themselves. So whatever their issue is. Libra, they could be left feeling left out in the cold because you you rightfully drew back your energy. This person could be going through homelessness because they didn't pay their rent. This person could be going through uh, unemployment because they quit their job. So this five of pentacles energy is like, uh-uh, you did this to yourself. If Libra didn't invite you to, leave, to their um, function, five of pentacles, it's because you did something, like something like that. Yeah, so this person, the only issue with this person is they self. Yeah, that's why this person is being blocked from you. Yeah, because whatever, 
The reason why this person is five pentacles, they did it to themselves. So if this person is homeless, they didn't pay their rent. If this person is unemployed, this person quit. Like, uh-uh. So this nine of wands is like, no, you ain't going over there bothering Libra. You did that to yourself. So this person issue is gaslighting, makes you feel crazy. Yeah, Libra, this five of pentacles energy, this person likes to do this to you. They like to make you feel crazy. That's their issue. They like to make you feel a certain type of way. Because Libra, um, you have three issues and this person don't really got no issues. They don't give a damn. This person want to come in your energy and that's why they're five of pentacles, Libra, because they're not able to gaslight you in December. And this person wants to so bad, but they can't. That's a shame. Yeah, so this five of pentacles energy, it could be an earth sign, a Capricorn towards a Virgo, don't have to be. This person, this, this person could be a karmic to you, Libra. This person could also be a Leo. Let me see, the five of pentacles, is this a karmic to Leo? I mean, to Libra? Is this five of pentacles Libra karmic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is five of pentacles energy is a karmic to you. Yeah. Libra, this person could also be younger than you. Yeah, Libra, this person like to make you feel crazy on purpose. And their issue in December is that they can't. This person want to make you feel worse on top of whatever you're going through, Libra. Um, Libra, this person could be um, dependent on you, codependent on you. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay, what's the tea with the moon? Yeah, happiness hater. Yeah, Libra, you don't know that this person don't like you. Or Libra, you probably know that this person don't like you and you probably don't know why. You probably don't know why. Yeah, either you're not aware that this person is a karmic to you or you, you're aware that this person don't like you but you don't know why and it's because they're a happiness hater. So Libra, you in the dark, you you don't know that someone don't like you because you're happy. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know that Libra. Somebody is a happiness hater. <clears throat> or you don't know why, but it's because you're happy, Libra, and this person don't want you to be happy. Um What's the tea with the nine of wands? What's the tea with the nine of wands? Travel. Travel, yeah. Um, yeah. This is, um, damn. This is an angel on ancestors. And Libra, you need help in, um, in December. And this person gonna travel to you, towards you. So this could be an angel taking a trip to come see about you or an uh, ancestor um, Libra. This person is traveling to do you a favor. Yeah. This person traveled towards you to see about you. And it told me that person. this nine of wands is not a person. Or Libra in December... Someone wants to travel with you and you don't need to travel with this person. So Libra, I don't know if you're supposed to be trapped. Like this could be a situation Libra where you have to go pick this person up and bring them somewhere. Or this person has to pick you up and bring you somewhere. But the nine of wands energy who could be an angel or an ancestor don't want you traveling with this person. So y'all going to be separated because you and this person are supposed to travel together in um December. Yeah, or something like that. <clears throat> something to do with traveling or Libra. 
You could be going somewhere with a lover and this person wants to come. You could be going somewhere with a lover and this person is either going to try to stop your plans. They don't want you to go somewhere with their lover or this person wants to come with you and your lover. And the nine of wands energy is not going to let that happen. So Libra, you could be newly married. And somebody want to come. And that nine of wands is like, no. You could be newly married and traveling. And it's like, Libra, somebody want to come with you. Or something like that. What's the tea with the five of pentacles? Libra, this five of pentacles could be like a best friend. And it's like, Libra, that's inappropriate. You could be like newly married or you pregnant and you with your person. And it's like your best friend want to go. And that's like, it's like, no. No, Libra married now. You can't go with Libra on her honeymoon. Yeah, clout hungry. Yeah, this person. This person says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. Yeah. Libra, I think you have traveling plans. Something to do around traveling. And this five of pentacles energy is either going to want to come with you or they're going to try to mess up your travel plans. Because this person is clout hungry. This person is planning on saying anything. They'll do anything. And this person will make shit up and they'll be a dramatic. But it's like this person wants to come with you traveling or they want to tear up your traveling plans or something. But this nine of wands energy not going to let this person do this to you. Because Libra, it's like you could be done with this person. It's like, Libra, this person has five pentacles. They don't want to let you live. They don't want to let you live. And that's why grudge holder was at the bottom of the deck. Libra, this person has five pentacles is holding a grudge against you. That's what this is. It's like they smile in your face, Libra, but they tear down your spirit. Like, they're holding a grudge against you. And Libra, they'll say anything. They'll even tell you they love you, and it's not true. This person will tell you they love you, and it's not true. Because this person is holding a grudge. And it's like, Libra, you're already disconnected. Maybe you don't even like this person and you don't even know why you don't like them. Like something like that. Or Libra, you're done with somebody. And this person don't want to accept it. Libra, this five of pentacles could also be an ex. And you done. Libra, you could be newly married. And your ex is like trying to crash your wedding or your honeymoon. And it's like, Libra, you like, no. Nah. And your ex to tell you anything. Your ex to tell you, I loved you. I'm the only one who loved you. Why are you reading? Why are you getting married? Don't do that. Like, and that nine of wands is like, no, you ain't doing that to Libra. Libra got Libra own problems. You're not doing that to Libra. You're not doing that to Libra in December. Libra, Libra this person might also want to um, stalk you. So Libra, you could be traveling with another lover or somebody else. And this person in Five Pentacles want to, um, they want to like stalk you while you're traveling. Yeah. So this could be a situation, this person is Five Pentacles. It could be a situation where this person lost a job. So it's like Libra, they could, this person could have a car. But they don't got no gas money. So it's like you traveling, but this person can't stalk you because they ain't got no gas money. They don't have enough money. It's like this person in December can't afford to stalk you, Libra. They can't afford it because they could have um, quit their job. Somebody might just quit their job. And this person is still trying to figure out a way to get on your nerve. Yeah, that's what this is. But it's like this person gaslights you, Libra. This person, oh, Libra, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? We family. This isn't that. I was your homegirl from back in the day. I'm your homeboy. Why wouldn't you invite me? Why I can't go? Why I can't drive your car? Gaslighting you. Makes you feel crazy. This person likes to make you feel crazy. So it's like they say what they say, gotta say, to get back in your good graces, Libra. And they do what they gotta do to get back in your good graces. 
But it's like once you allow this person back in your good graces, they make you feel crazy. Yeah. But they're not going to do that in December. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Libra, that's what I have for you. Mm-hmm. And Libra, this person that's in five pentacles, this could be the same person that's trying to give you some advice. And Libra, spirit is telling you in December, you don't need this person advice. You closed out that karmic cycle. Um, Libra, you and this person that's in five pentacles could have um, been trauma bonding. And spirit like, no, Libra, you over that trauma. No, you ain't trauma bonding with this person. Libra, you over it. I made sure that Libra, you, you over it. Like something like that, Libra. Mm-hmm. Libra, you do not need advice from this person that's in five pentacles in December. Because, Libra, I heard you're over it. So, basically, Libra, you done with a karmic cycle when somebody else is not. Libra, you was in a karmic cycle with somebody else in this five pentacles. You've been in a karmic cycle with this person. And Libra, you done with that karmic cycle. So, for whatever reason, Libra, this person has not wrapped up their karmic lessons. But you have, Libra. So, you got to leave this person behind, Libra. And I think you're willing to. You're willing to leave this person behind, Libra. But this person is not willing to let you go in peace. So, your angel and or ancestor or passed on loved one, Libra, is going to make sure this person gets blocked. Yeah. Because, Libra, it kind of looked like you're willing to let this person go. It's like you don't care. But this person is, like, persistent and insists on being in your energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the end. Libra, that's what I have for you for December. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share Libra and, and, and enjoy, the, um, enjoy the month of December, Libra. And I don't went over like 10 minutes. So that's what I have, Libra. Thank you.